Hi guys, Angie Bell with My Fairy Treasures. Okay, you guys, I'm coming at you guys with a um, Hobby Lobby Clarence haul. Uh -uh. Oh my gosh, you guys. After you watch this video, get to Hobby Lobby. There's so much good stuff. I found all of this in the craft section. It's like the Tim Holtz stuff is being clearanced out. Alcohol inks, dyes, stamps, all that stuff in that whole area right there. So get yourself over there and i think in the fine art section the master's touch a bunch of that stuff is going to be uh is about to go next so i'm going to go today and check on that stuff um i think i saw i just i think i saw somebody they didn't haul a whole bunch of stuff but they hauled a few things so i want to see what's going to happen over in the fine art section okay so let's begin Put my glasses on so i can read the first thing i'm gonna do i'm gonna go through my alcohol inks and you guys i'm gonna just warn you now I got a ton of alcohol inks. Let me pause. I'm going to show you why I got these alcohol inks. Just a second. Okay, you guys, I'm back. Now I'm going to show you guys why I bought a ton of alcohol inks. Okay, I do a lot of um, collaging and collages that look very old world type of collaging. Look like old walls, old doors, old caves, that, that type of stuff. Um, and I make papers, usually on the jelly on the jelly. Uh, on my jelly uh, print. I jelly print papers to use in my collages. And I do other stuff to make papers to use in my collages too, or my mixed media backgrounds. This kind of stuff also can be used to make cards, to do in junk journals, art journals, everything. So these are papers that I like to make my, to make out of the alcohol inks, okay? These aren't the ones I make, uh, at, make jelly prints. These are the ones I make out of alcohol inks. And I take the alcohol inks along with the blending solution and I do stuff like this. And um, this is done on um, photo paper. I'm liking the photo paper so much better. Isn't that cool? I'm liking the photo paper so much better than the um, Yupo. They're going to have Yupo right next to the alcohol inks. If I was you, I would take my 30 bucks, go buy a pack of 100 uh, photo paper, like the HP photo paper, from like uh, the office stores or from Sam's Club. I think this, I think if you can do Sam's Club or, um, if you can do Sam's Club or, or, uh, what's the other one called? The other one that's just like Sam's Club, Costco. Um, if you can do that, you're going to probably get a better deal. You might pay like 25 for a hundred sheets of photo paper. Isn't this cool? So these can be ripped up and put into my collages. Now what I did is I took pictures of these and then I turned these into digital prints um, from my uh, Etsy shop. So these are now gonna be in my Etsy shop towards the end of the week, towards the end of the week as um, digital prints, digital printouts that you can buy if you like. Every five sheets will be $2.50. And when I took pictures and I made them into printables, um, I took out pretty much all this white space. So all you get is the print itself. The ink design, not all the white space around it. But isn't this cool what you can do? If you're into this type of thing, you'll, you'll like this. Some people who are into this will be like, girl, um, that looks like a damn mess. Just showing you guys what I'm doing with the alcohol inks and really quickly before I show you the alcohol inks I also make my own blending solution and you make your own blending solution by um, uh, fill up ever how much alcohol you want you need 90 90 percent alcohol you can get that at any drugstore okay or any drug department 90% um, alcohol in like a ketchup bottle that's what I do and then just like a couple of drops three or four drops of uh, glycerin that makes it so that it has a, extends the alcohol so it doesn't dry out right away so you can put your alcohol you put your blend solution on and then your alcohol inks and then you just go like this and it gives you time for everything to mush and mesh together before it dries I love that one isn't that gorgeous they look like little like little nebulas in space I think they're so cool these are little circles that I created out of um, uh, 
these were um, DVDs. Aren't they cool? Um, not this last week, but the week before, I have a video, a live, that I played with all these alcohol inks. Oh, and I have a video. Isn't that gorgeous? I have a video of me playing with these alcohol inks. Um, if you just go to my, uh, if you just go to my channel, you'll see it. It's like like what, maybe third or fourth video I did from the top, and then you can check that out. And this is oh, this is my absolute favorite out of all of them. Isn't that gorgeous? Okay, so now you guys see where I'm going with with getting all of these alcohol inks. Okay. And I wanted to show you that because if you're into mixed media or you're into collaging or into anything, junk journaling, art journaling, and you want to start making some of your own papers, take advantage right now. Take advantage right now of the, um, just want to make sure. Take it. I got to wipe my hands off. Take advantage right now of the, um, the price of these alcohol inks. I picked them up for 99 cents. They're regularly $3.99. So. I bought a ton because I'm, I do, that's my main thing I do is mixed media. So, okay, just a second, I'm trying to find a place to put all these. Just a second, yeah, this will work like this. Perfect. Okay. So let's, let me show you the alcohol inks. Let's get to those. So this one is called Rose Red. Okay. And like I said, these were um, regularly $3.99. I got them for 99 cents. This is, wait, okay, that got done already. This one's called Cotton Candy Pink. And, pr and all pretty much all of these, I picked up two of each. Because I'm doing so much alcohol ink, I want to make sure that I have a backups to all these. So, um, deep violet, and the color of it, what it is, is in the background there. This is midnight blue. Well, it's not on this one in the background, but anyway, that's midnight blue. This is a cool gray. It almost looks black, but it says cool gray. So I think the cool gray in this terms means a dark gray. Um, what is this? Wine red. I don't know why they wouldn't say red wine, but okay. This one is a uh, cherry. This one is turquoise. That's what the packaging looks like. So what you're looking for. These are right next to the um, to the ink pads for tip by t in, uh, by Tim Holtz. That's where you'll find these. Uh, this is Cruline, kind of like a turquoisey blue, some type of greenish turquoisey blue, something like that. This is called mint green, and this mint green is very like a turquoise. Isn't that gorgeous? Um, this is gold. This one is sky blue. This one is marine blue. You guys, these prices are insane. I mean, they were for four dollars. I got them for ninety-nine cents each. Crazy. Okay, this is chocolate. This is just called chocolate. You know, that's one of my favorite colors. I love using browns. This one's called Burnt Sienna, another brown, which I love. This one is silver. This one is Indian blue. This one is marine blue. This one is dark green. This 
This one is lime. This lime color looks really cool. Hopefully this is not leaking. It has a looks like it had been leaking, but then it dried up. Anyway, is it on my hands? No, we're good. Okay, got three more. This one is raspberry. This one is cherry. And this last one is called azalea, azalea, azalea purple. So you guys, this is the best deal on ink. So if you want to use alcohol inks for any purpose, um, you can also, like if you have like, um, if you do junk journaling and you want to color your keys or any type of metal pieces, you can do that. If you want to age paper clips for junk journaling too, or art journaling or anything like that, you can um, use the alcohol inks for that. And remember how I told you guys how to make the blending solution, because that is the bomb to make your own blending. Because they do, they did sell the blending solution for 99 cents, it's this small. You're gonna go through that blending solution like there's no tomorrow. So, and isn't that nice that you can make blending solution for basically pennies on a dollar? Yeah. Especially since you got your inks for 99 cents, you want to be able to make them for pennies on the dollar. So, okay, I'm going to make all of these away. So, I'm so excited. I can make a ton of really cool papers. And, like I said, um, the photo I use uh, the photograph paper, like the paper that you print out photographs on, it works better than the UFO paper. It takes the ink better, it just looks nicer. Just, yeah, and you're getting way, way more for your money. Way more. So, that UFO can be like 13 bucks and you get like 10 sheets. It's ridiculous. And they have it, but it's still not a good deal, even on clearance, in my opinion, now that you know you can use photo paper and it works better than the UFO. Okay. Let me show you some more things. Okay. Next. Um, these are some oxides. They didn't have a ton of oxides this year. I've gotten, gotten years where they've had way more oxides, but they didn't have a lot this year. So I got two of these pumice stone. I got one for my one for myself and one for a giveaway. Fabulous. And this is regularly $6.99. Got it for $1.74. And then I picked up two of these, one for me, one for a giveaway. Uh, it's called Shabby Shutters. And I just like this color. It's very um, kind of rustic. It'll go with like all my browns and rust color oxides. It'll go good with that. Okay, so we've got two of each of those. And that's all, that's basically all the oxide inks I got. They didn't hardly, weren't clearancing hardly any of those out at my store. And the only other ones I've seen that they were clearancing out, um, they had an orange there. And I actually should have got the orangey, orangey color because it actually looks like rust um, when you use it. I should have probably picked that up. But anyway, I have it. Then I picked up um, two of these, one for me, one for a giveaway. Um, these are Faber-Castell highlighters, text liners, 46 in pastels. These are fabulous. Regular $7.49, got them for $1.87. These are still right there where the alcohol inks are at. This is on the lower, on the very low shelf. That's where you'll find these if you want to get these. Aren't these fabulous? Oh, I love these highlights. They're so gorgeous. This will be so good for um, my planner. Excited. Okay. Let's keep going. I found so much good stuff. What happened was, is that I got there... Um, Saturday morning, nine o'clock. Well, I, Thursday I went and they were marking down the dies and the, uh, the dies and the folder and the, um, embossing folders. I didn't, I only picked up two, I didn't pick up any dies that day. I picked up embossing folders because the embossing folders I like to use on my jelly plate as texture plates. People who are listening to this are going to go, you put those into paint. Yes, that's what I do with my embossing folders. <laughs> um, 
So I did that, and then he, I said, you know, when are you guys going to be marking down the Tim Holtz stuff? Because I heard that that's coming on YouTube. They said that that's coming. He goes, well, I probably won't get till next Tuesday. I said, okay. He goes, I get my manifest on Thursday, and then, you know, I have to get, put everything on the shelf, and then we'll do the clearance probably Monday or Tuesday. He said it to me before, so I'm like, I'm going to go on, I'm going to go, um, I went Friday. They didn't mark anything down. I went Saturday morning. I heard the gun going. Then I saw him, and I was like, I ran out of breath back to get a cart because I didn't get it bring a cart because I thought I know he's they're not going to be marking it down but I'm just here to check. He was and there was nobody over there yet. So I went over there. I started you know being able to grab a bunch of stuff I wanted but I only had 10 minutes for me and him so I could grab things that I wanted because after that there was a ton of people after 10 minutes. So I got there at 9 by 9, 10, 9, 15. There's a ton of people. Everybody's grabbing everything and by the time I left that store, that craft section, almost everything was gone. It was crazy. But I'm glad I got there 10 minutes before everybody else on that aisle. And I was able to grab some stuff. But, yeah, I'm sure there's nothing left. I mean, even after, before I left the store, I went back over there just to kind of look around. And make, I'm like, what happened? Everything was almost gone. So, you guys, get to Hobby Lobby. And if you think you want something, just put it in the cart. And then make your decision. Or take it home. And then if you don't want it, bring it back. But the stuff goes quick. It just goes really quick. Okay. I got a, um, I got this. This is awesome. This was $24.99. Got it for $6.24. A jelly plate. This is fabulous. Um, I have one that I need to send in happy mail to someone I, um, for happy mail. And I have an extra one. And I have one that I made and then I have another extra one and the extra one I want to I want to start doing this I want to start doing two jelly printings at a time working two plates at a time I've been wanting to make a video like that for a while. So, um, I'm gonna do that and now um, I'm gonna do that with my extra one, but this one I'm gonna give away because I already had promised this one to someone if I found it so um, And what size is this? This is 8 by 10. So it's a nice size fabulous huh okay oh and then this right here I might have this already and if I do I'll put it in a giveaway fresh flower market seeds stems blooms I just love that so farmhouse and this was only 74 cents um these are what are these Tim Holtz mica sprays distress mica sprays look at these you guys oh my god these are the colors that I love um, this will be so good when I'm making my jelly prints and I call it embellishing my jelly prints and I'll use Tim Holtz distressing on them. I'll use stuff like this on them just to fill in different spots in jelly prints and just to make the jelly prints pop more. So this is going to be fabulous because this is a distress mica spray and there's a bronze color, antique bronze, a brush pewter. What is this other one? brush brass oh you can see better like this those are my favorite type of colors oh my gosh I'm obsessed okay so I got that let me put this stuff back some more sprays that I got these are distress oxide sprays and I got it in shabby shutters and tumbled glass oh and though that spray I just showed you I, did, I don't know if I told you the price on these right here these were regularly $11.99 got them for $2.99 sorry I don't think I showed you the um, these were Love 9 Gun for $2.99. Like I said, these are Distressed Oxide Sprays, Tumbled Glass, and Shabby Shutters. 
And those are the colors right there. Cool, huh? Love it! Um, this is some collage. I love this collage paper. It's fabulous. Uh, regularly, what was it? I got it for $1.74. Let's see what it regularly was. I'm just going to remove the tag a little bit. Regularly $6.99. Got it for $1.74. Look how fabulous that is. I love his papers like this. These are my collages and my backgrounds and all of that. Love. Okay. More Tim Holtz. Oh, good. I'm glad I got these because I almost thought I didn't get them. I tried this year not to skip anything. Like, if I wanted it, I just put it in the cart. And I thought, just put it in the cart because I have all these people around me now. If, you know, these people are going to grab all this stuff. People are just grabbing like insane. So, I just, anything I thought I wanted and I had to think about, put it in the cart. And then you can go over somewhere else and think. <laughs> okay, I picked up two of these. I absolutely love these. Um... They're regularly $4.99, got them for $1.49, so I got two of them. Um, I love these. You're good for, they're good to put on the side of, like, my art journal and to hang beads and stuff from it. They're just good for so many things, you guys know. So I picked up two of those, and they had one left sitting there. I should have picked up all three of them, but I didn't. This, they only had one, or I would have gotten more. It was regularly $8.99, got it for $2.24. Look how cool. These are called factory tags. Look how cool those are. Those are everything. I love these. These would be great on the cover of my art journals. Like when I'm going to cover, when I'm going to decorate the cover. Um, they'd also be great. Um, what else was I going to use them on? Oh, when I do my Finnevere art. This would be really fabulous too. Then for my Finnevere art also, I thought these would be really cool to use. These are odds and ends. Uh... Regular price seven ninety nine. I got them for a dollar ninety nine. Aren't those fabulous? Look at that ruler. So cool. Um, <coughs> here's the other one of these. Remember, I said I got one for me and one for a giveaway. Gosh. Okay. Then this is called alcohol lift. I can't remember how this works, but it goes along with the alcohol inks. <coughs> I got to look up a video on this. This lady was explaining it to me and the way she explained it. I can't explain it back to you, but she explained it to me. I was like, okay, I'm getting those. So I picked up two of them. There was three of them sitting there and um, I picked them up and then I said, you want one of these? And she goes, yeah, I'll take one. So I gave her one and then I kept two of them. Um... I think this is going to add extra, an extra coolness. You can use them with stamps and then the alcohol ink. And I'm not really sure, but so it's a, it's a called a alcohol lift transparent. Used with Tim Holtz alcohol inks to lift color from non-porous surfaces. So I'm going to look up a video on this to see exactly how to use this. But I'm sure I can use this to add to making my alcohol papers that I like. So regular $5.99, got them for $1.49. And since I do so much alcohol ink stuff, I thought two would be sufficient for me when I'm creating all my papers. Okay, this is just exciting. I love Minnie. I love I love Minnie and Mickey Mouse. And I really love Minnie Mouse, okay? So, um, I got a bunch of Minnie Mouse stamps. I was so excited. These were all regularly $5.99. And I got them all for $1.74. Each. Okay, so here's this one. Why is this? The stupid sticker is right here. Just a second. Let me see if I can remove the stupid sticker. I can't. Anyway, you can see enough of it. This is so cute. Look at this stamp set. Isn't that cute? I thought this would be so cute to stamp in my planner and then be able to color them. And then I can make Minnie Mouse and Mickey Mouse the colors I want. And you know they're going to be pink. I love a pink Minnie Mouse. But Mickey's going to be in pink too. Um, <laughs> you're like, girl, you were crazy. Okay, and these are Mickey and Friends, which I think are so cute. Look at this. Again, stamping this in my planner. So instead of using stickers that month to decorate my planner, my planner spread, 
use these and then color it. Oh my gosh, look at this, how cute this is. And this is Mickey Mouse and Friends. I am obsessed. And then here's this one. A dollar seventy four for Mickey and Minnie and Minnie Mouse and Minnie, Mickey Mouse's friends uh, stamps. That's insanely good price. And then these are the princesses. Which princesses are these? Oh, okay. There's several different ones. Um, Jasmine, Cinderella, uh, Ariel. And there's one more on here. I can't. I can't tell. And then there's one below too. But just look. So again, this would be really cute to decorate a plant. Do a planner spread, and just use these, and then and then color them in myself. That would be so much fun. Okay. Then I got. Oh, I got one more. One more of the mini of Mickey, of Mickey and Minnie. These are all just Mickey. Obsessed. Okay, now these are some more. These are some more uh, stamps. Um, this is um, got this for six four. Is regular six forty nine. Got it for a dollar thirty seven. And this stamp, actually, I'm going to use as a texture plate on my um, jelly plate. I like to use um, stamps on my jelly plate like this. They um, really make nice texture texture plates. Um, now this I will not be using on my jelly plate. This is just going to be used to embellish my papers that I like to make, um, to embellish my jelly prints, and maybe to also embellish some of my um, alcohol ink pa papers that I like to make. Look at this. This is regularly this was regularly thirteen ninety nine. Got it for three forty nine. How fabulous, so grungy, so Tim Holtz looking, obsessed. Isn't that cool? Yes. I seen that, I was just like, don't ask questions, pick it up. One of my favorite stamps in my mixed media backgrounds, when I make do mixed media, when I do, uh, if I do art journaling or mixed media background, or if I'm doing my, um, my jelly print papers and I want to embellish, I love a script stamp. And look, I got a new one. And again, this will not be used on my jelly plate. This will be to embellish my art that I do. I love putting script in my art. Isn't that fabulous? And it's so big. I love it. I have to think what I'm gonna leave out for my, um, what I'm gonna leave out for my, um, thumbnail okay and then I got I didn't think I got this one but I did yay this was regularly $13.99 got it for $3.49 it's the bubbles aren't these cool let's see I want to make sure you guys can see isn't that cool this is going to be used on my um, jelly plate as a texture plate uh, again uh, $13.99 re regularly and I got it for $3.49 I did only get two um, dies. I'm not into dies anymore. I have a ton of dies that I never use, but this one is a coffee one and I will use this one. Look how cool it is. But I don't get rid of anything because since if you do mixed media, you can always take like my alcohol papers or my jelly print papers and use those papers and do something and cut these out, which is what I want to do. I want to use my jelly prints or my alcohol ink prints and cut the cups out and use it in my art. I have this be the focal point. Wouldn't that be cool? Just for some coffee art. So I'm excited about that. But that's the same reason why I never get rid of any of my um, texture plates. I don't, or my embossing plates. I don't get rid of any of my um, dies because if you do mixed media, you're always going to be able to find a way to use that kind of stuff. So. Let me just put this stuff away. 
just a second. readers back on so I can see okay I got these they're regularly $4.99 got them for $1.24 um, look at these these are um, foam letters aren't those fabulous again these are gonna be for my jelly plate and I did pick up two of each because I got one for my uh, for some giveaways I have a thing called Angie's art party on every Sunday 2 o'clock Pacific time so I'm always doing some type of mixed media and I do get two giveaways. Even though you guys, sorry he's watching this video, I forgot to do two giveaways this last weekend and I did one. My brain, I told you guys my brain was a little bit scattered and you guys know why I was sharing it with you guys. So sorry, I'll probably try to have, I'll, I'll, I'll have two next week for sure. But anyway, and then you have the rest of these on the back. Look how fabulous. And even at the bottom they have um, hashtag uh, peace an and sign, a heart sign, a question mark, and an exclamation point. Isn't that cool? Now, what I like about these letters is I like how fancy the font is. And when I do uh, mixed media or um, or collage art or anything like that, and I'm going to stamp, um, I'll stamp some letters in there, like A, B. I don't even have to, or I'll put A and E, or I'll just put an A somewhere in the art, or a B somewhere in the art. Just a single letter, or two letters together, or three letters together. I don't need to... Um, be spelling out words so that's how I use it in my mixed media and I thought this font style was cool too and this was over in the section where they have all the stencils and everything that's where they oh that's where I found these at see this would be good for a um I'm thinking about my thumbnail when you make a thumbnail you guys you want things that um that will show in a picture well small little items and you're showing it in the picture don't really show up well but like bigger things like that can show up well in a picture so that's why I'm why you're looking at me going what are you doing okay and then I got this one of these this size and I wanted one this size uh, this is a five by seven I don't have this size um, regularly $14.99 got it for $374 I am so excited. What I want to do is I want to have like a little jelly print marathon in one of my lives. I want to use, now I want to use three plates at once. I want to use my big 11 by 16, I think it is. Then use my one that's like an 8 by 10 and then use a small one like this. And be just jelly printing like an insane person with three different plates. How cool would that be? So um, I'm excited about this. So, got one of those. Okay, what are these? Okay, then this is Distress Oxides, again, sprays. And one is in, what color is it? Just a second, guys. Gathered twigs and then like a silver color. Uh, regular $11.99, got them for $2.99. And I, I love these for a lot of things, but I really like spraying when I make my jelly prints and I need to fill things in or just make things look embellished, my prints a little bit, make them look better. These sprays are great. Also intermixed with um, the Tim Holtz inks. They're fabulous for that. Okay, and then let me see what else. Okay, here's the other one I got. Uh, again, $11.99, got it for $2.99. And this one is, it's a pink one. I don't know what the pink is called because I can't really read it. The bottle's turned. It's a pink color and then a fest, uh, festive berries, but I'll just show it to you. Pretty, huh? Gorgeous. Okay. Um...
I'm just trying to see if I, I'm just looking for my thumbnail. <laughs> I'm always looking what I need to use for my thumbnail because what I, yeah, I might use these for my thumbnail. What I, um, I don't like to do is I don't like to put everything away and then have to go searching for things for my thumbnail. So I try to like look at things for my thumbnail while I'm putting, while I'm showing you guys stuff so then I can just do my thumbnails right after this and I don't have to go searching through the bags again. Cause that's a pain and you know what? Okay. Let's keep this receipt. Okay. Um, now these are all texture fades, pretty much, by Sizzix. They're Tim Holtz. Uh, they're 3D embossing folders. Um, I think they're all 1090. Oh, they're all different prices, so I'll just go through them. Uh, regularly ten ninety nine got it for three twenty four, and I will be using these. I know this is going to drive some people crazy, but I'm going to be using these on my uh, jelly plate as texture plates. Look at that! Is that isn't that texture in there just fabulous? And because these are more prominent, they're going to be awesome on my jelly plate. I'm so excited! I use just regular embossing all my embossing holders on my jelly plate as texture plates, and. They put a real, you do, you take these and you put, and you put paint on a jelly plate, okay? Two or three colors, one color, whatever you want to do. You take this, you impress this design into the jelly plate, put your paper on there and bring it up, and this design's on there. So it's really cool. That's a cool design. Okay, um, this one was $324. These are all Tim Holtz, yeah. Let me just look to see what the regular price was on this one. I don't even know. All right. The regular price isn't on here, but I'm imagining it's somewhere around $10 like the rest of them. Got it for $3.24. Look at this. This is so cool. Isn't that neat? I don't know what the heck you call that, but it just looks flipping cool. So I am excited. Next one, regularly $9.99, got it for $2.99. Tim Holtz, 3D texture fades. Yeah, these are all, so far these have all been 3D texture fades. Look at this one. That's the design. Isn't that cool? Very pretty. Here's, um, remember I told you, I think I only got two, maybe three. Yep, just only two. Um, um, dies. This is the other die I got. Regularly $22.95. Got this for $5.74. And these are Sizzix Thinlets. And they're also Tim Holtz. Look at these bugs. Now, think about this. I also have a Tim Holtz. Let me just let you look at it a little bit longer. I also have a Tim Holtz um, butterfly that I have. I've had. I got. I bought like 10 years ago, and it's fabulous looking. It's not just some. It's just a cool looking, beautiful butterfly butterflies um there's like three or four butterflies on this one die and um it's his thick dye to those big fat ones anyway to use my uh papers like this wouldn't that make a cool looking bug of these or butterfly yeah so i'm gonna get my i'm gonna bust out my tim holtz vagabond die cutting machine and start cutting some of these out that's gonna be fabulous i'm loving all of it i love the um what are they? There's a dragonfly, there's a bee, there's a uh, moth, and there's a, I don't know what you call that other bug. But look how cool the bugs look. And out of that pa that paper, even out of some of my jelly prints, it's, they're going to look so cool. And I can use those in my, um, in my collages and mixed media or my backgrounds. It's going to be fabulous. Okay, and then I got this one. Regularly $10.99, got it for $2.74. It's a 3D texture mini fade embossing folder. So I just really like the shape of this one for my, um, again, that's what it looks like, for my jelly plate as a texture plate, to add texture to the plate. That's cool. One thing I wish is this was bigger. But you can make your own texture plates, and um, well, no, it's only if I had a stencil. 
I might be able to do it with this. No, I have to have a stencil. Never mind. Anyway, I'll be using that on my jelly plate to put that kind of texture into the paint, which I think it'll be cool. This is another one. This one was regularly $10.99. Got it for $2.74. Um, another embossing folder. I thought this was really cool. And all of these have been embossing folders, if I didn't say. Look how cool that is. It's going to be a cool design in my jelly plate. Love it. This is really neat. Um, I'm not sure what the regular price is because they ripped it off, but I'm sure it was probably around $10. Got it for $249. Actually, it must be cheaper than $10. Maybe it's around $8 because um, it's $249. But this is like a circuit board. Look how cool. That's going to look so cool on my jelly plate. Look how neat that is. I love that. And then this last one is, um, again, 3D texture impression plate Tim Holtz oh in fact this isn't Tim Holtz this is Catherine Bryn 3D texture plate anyway I don't know what the regular price is but it, I got it for $3.49 I'm sure it was around $10, $10, $11 something like that oh wait oh here's the price $13.99 got it for $3.49 isn't that gorgeous That's going to be a beautiful design in my um, jelly plate. So, I think that was everything. Is that everything? Yeah, that's it. So, you guys, walk. I mean, run. Don't walk. Run. Do not walk. Get yourself to Hobby Lobby because these prices are insane. And the stuff is going like that. Like I said, basically, they were almost basically uh, sold out before I left the store. Okay. People were going crazy. I had 10 minutes by myself with that, with the uh, manager who was marking off the Tim Holtz stuff and the alcohol ink. So I was able to get that stuff. But, uh, after that people were going crazy. Okay. And that place was the whole section of there was already almost cleared out. It was crazy. So, all right, you guys, that is it. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd love for you to do so. If you give this video a thumbs up, any comments or questions, leave them below. Come visit me on Facebook and Instagram. And really quick, I have a group called Our Magical Little Place. I'd love for you to come join. Um, it doesn't matter what you do. Mixed media, if you knit, crochet, junk journal, art journaling, whatever you do, card making, come join a group um, and share your work with us. Also, if you have a YouTube channel, if you have an Etsy shop, if you have any type of shop, if you're selling anything, you can come and put links up, okay? Um, if you have videos to help tell us how to make things, you can post a link there. It's all good. Um, also, I go live every Friday. It's called Angie's Yarn Party. Crocheters, knitters, fiber enthusiasts, spinners, you guys are all welcome. Anybody's welcome. Um, but we'll be talking yarn and fibers and all of that. Um, well, we don't just talk about that. We talk about a whole bunch of stuff. It's like a party up in there. That's why I call it Angie's Yarn Party, okay? We do get off on other subjects a lot of the time. <laughs> but it's called Angie's Yarn Party. It's um, I have a new time. So if anybody's listening to this and you guys come to it, it's a new time. It's 11 o'clock p.m. Pacific time. So every Friday, 11 o'clock, not p.m., a.m., because it's not noon yet. So 11 o'clock a.m. Pacific time, okay? Pacific is important, so you can... Ask Alexa for your time in your zone. If you if you're not living if you don't live in the um, if you don't live on the West Coast like I do, um, on Sundays it's called Angie's Art Party. Okay, and I'm always doing some type of mixed media. It doesn't matter what you're doing, crafting, arting, whatever. Everybody in there does all kinds of stuff. I have knitters, crocheters, mixed media artists, junk journals. Everybody's up in there, and we have fun for two hours. We have giveaways, and we have giveaways on Friday, too, in Angie's Yarn Party. But we have giveaways in Angie's Art Party on Sundays. And, um, again, that's every Sunday, 2 o'clock Pacific time, okay? For a couple, it's for two hours. So, I think that's it. I've talked enough. All right, I'll talk to you guys next video.